up, fam? It's Ave, your kinkologist, spilling a little kink, tea, and drama into your day. Y'all know how we do. Email me your kinky entanglements, and I get you right with my personal feedback and that of my tarot cards. Now, this is for mature adults only. If your wear still draws in a stiff shirt, this ain't for you. Nothing is too kinky or too crazy to discuss. And y'all know we run into the crazy damn near each episode. Remember, kink should always be legal and consensual. I don't care if you're butt naked, draped over someone's lap, getting spanked, or wearing a doll collar and a diaper, sucking somebody's toes. We're going to tap it all. For a slot on the show, hit me up at ave.kinkologist at gmail.com. Y'all ready for these kinky emails? Let's get it. And for those of you who practice or excel in tarot, you'll want to check out this amazing card master, Tarot with the T on Esty. She has many decks for all your tarot reader needs. Head over to Esty and check her out. Up first... We have nine from New Jersey. Ave, the craziest shit happened. My girl and I are type freaky, so we made a private video. We were tampering with the idea of making it fans only. Get a bag for what we enjoy. Why not? She uploaded it to her laptop and put it in a private file. With other things going on, it kind of slipped our mind. Anyway, she's into business and had a meeting with her boss. She keeps her work files in a private file. Unfortunately, she played the wrong file for her boss. I don't know how much he actually saw. She said she cut it off as soon as she noticed what was on the screen. Now this motherfucker is talking slick, saying shit like she needs to be a team player or clean out her desk. Now I ain't no slouch. I'll go to her job and give him some act right, but she's scared of catching charges and going to jail. I told her to go to her HR. What do you think? Uh, That's a little little bit of a sticky situation. Hun, this is classic creepy boss vibes. Yes, she should go to her HR. But before she goes, if she can get something on record, such as the recording app on her phone, record him saying this stuff to her. Because the more proof she has, the better. I'm picking up that this guy's a creep. He's real creepy. This isn't his first rodeo. I'm even getting that this isn't HR's first time hearing about him. Going forward... I know you guys would be more careful with where you store your private affairs. Tell her to try to record some of this stuff that he's singing. And yes, she should definitely go to HR. Okay? Hit me back. Let me know what happens after she goes to HR. You hang tight. This creep isn't worth anyone's freedom. And now, let's take it to the cards. The first card says, coming between your relationship. Coming between your relationship. See, this here, what I'm picking up, is that there's a lot of strife ever since this came out between you and her. She's kind of upset with you, what I'm feeling. She's upset with you. Due to the fact that you guys did this thing and now it's out there. Her job is being threatened. But the truth of it is, honestly, to both of y'all, things like this has happened. This isn't my first time hearing this. Honest to God, it's not. Now, with the boss, the creepy boss tribes, uh, that may be playing a different part. But these things happen. You know, there's nothing wrong with anybody in this world having a little kink into their relationship. There's nothing wrong with recording yourselves, if you like. Now, truly, you want to be very careful where you put those recordings, but things do happen. So, neither should blame the other. Nobody blame anybody because shit happens. Let's keep it real. 
what you need to be doing and y'all need to be working as a team is dealing with how do you go from here and being threatened at the job because of an accident that's that's not cool at all that's creepy vibes that's sexual harassment and that's not cool the next card says impulsiveness. Again, like I said, things happen. Shit happen. We all do stuff. That boss done stuff. Trust me, because I'm picking that up. He's done a lot of stuff. Okay? So, don't beat yourself up in the head about it. Things happen. Now, be smart and handle it the right way. Try to get something on, on uh, tape if you can and go to that HR and just lay it straight. Be Open and honest. This is what happened. The next card says emotions. And I'm, I'm getting that because I, I feel that. Remember, I, I just said that. You guys are having a lot of strife in your relationship due to this. Y'all emotions are all over the place. And with that, th y'all not on the same accord. And that's no good. Y'all have to get rid of the guilt. Push aside the embarrassment, and now let's handle this as a team. We were a team when we made that tape, and now we need to be a team with how we're going to do this. You understand what I'm saying? Because that division between y'all is no good. That's no good. And it's not going to help the situation. You've got to play this correct. Play it legal. Play it correct. Again, I understand it's embarrassing. Throw that away. Throw the guilt away. Shit happens. Brush that off your shoulder. Now, let's do the right thing and handle this boss. Hit me back. Let me know what happens. Up next, we have Talanda from Virginia. Okay. I know that there are things that are not supposed to be done in public, but you only live once. Anywho... My guy and I were at the park having a little picnic. Where we were at, there wasn't anyone else around. We did check. Somehow, someone did see us and make a video and uploaded it to TikTok. It was a short spiff of us. However, my boss got a hold of it and called me in. He says an investigation is underway. And if it proves to be me in the video... I'll be released from the company. The video shows a side profile of me going down on my boyfriend. My issue is, we didn't give consent for anyone to record or release to public. I think this is unfair. I even contacted TikTok with a claim of a lawsuit. Do you have any advice on this? Talanda, sweetie, this... I'm getting a lot of different rhymes here. I'm getting a lot of different rhymes here. Uh, there's more to this story, okay? There's more to this story than what's actually uh, coming to the forefront. First, let me say there are limitating, limitating laws on recording in public and displaying and on apps. So that right there, you need to educate yourself. Go on Google and find out about laws regarding uh, recording and uploading on uh, pu social public social apps. So you need to definitely do that. Also, I, I don't I, like I said, I'm getting and I'm trying to explain it. I'm getting not really murky waters, but I'm just getting like like some static. There's more here at play. Listen to me. There is more here at play. And you know what I'm saying because what I'm what I'm picking up is that you and your boss, y'all have bumped heads a few times. Y'all have bumped heads a few times on different situations. I'm even getting to the point that y'all don't really even like one another. And this is this is the ammunition that he's using against you. I'm getting that he's he's threatened you. He's threatened you before with uh with termination. And so now this is the ammunition that he's using against you. As to the video and investigation, what I would do, I would seek legal advice on that. Because this didn't happen at the job place. Okay? 
And again, like you say, you did not give consent for this to be recorded or released anywhere. So I would definitely, definitely seek legal advice. I also want to tell you this. I want you to calm down because I, I'm picking up that you, you're very upset now and you have been over this situation. And I can hear it in the, uh, in the email, the way that you wrote it. And I, I see that you're very, very upset. But I want you to calm down because I'm getting that there's, there's an upcoming career change in your future. There is something better coming for you. I promise you that. Do what you can to clear yourself with this. But don't sweat it if it don't turn in your favor. Okay? Do not sweat it if it don't turn in your favor. Like I said, he was just waiting for an excuse. That is what I'm getting. He was waiting for an excuse. He's been wanting to terminate you. And that right there, I'm getting not uh not vibes that you was a bad employee. I'm not I'm not exactly sure what the situation is between you and him because there's feelings on your end that are not really good towards him. But the will I say malice? The malice that I'm getting from him against you. I don't know if it's unreturned uh interest, if you will. Uh, I'm I'm not exactly sure because it's, it's what I'm getting is is, is kind of like a love hate type of a thing, so I'm not sure exactly what what went on there. You know, you would know because you was there. So he was just looking for for, for some ammunition, and this is it. So again, do not sweat it if it does not turn in your favor, because I am picking up that there's something else coming. There's another uh, job opportunity, employment opportunity that's coming up in the future for you. Let's take it to the cards. The first card says, swingers. See, that's swingers, that's sex, sex. And that's what I said, that I'm picking up some kind of a love-hate. So I don't know if he pushed up on you and you didn't go along with it, or something, but there's there's some malice that built over whatever this this lustfulness that I'm feeling that I'm picking up. The next card says arguments, challenges, and see this is what I'm saying. There's that strife with you and him. Y'all don't really like one another. Whatever happened, and he's he's already threatened you before with termination. So there has been bad words between you guys. Again, just do what you can to clear yourself for the situation. And if you can't, don't sweat it. Because I do pick up that there is something better coming for you. The next card says, inflated sense of entitlement. And see, that's what I'm saying. This is what I'm getting off of him. I'm getting very lustful, lustful, but it's with malice. And it's, it's very high-handed, if you will, like entitled, like, like he deserves to be treated a certain way. He's entitled to have what he wants, and that's what I'm getting off of him. So again, just try to clear yourself of this. If it does not work in your favor, do not sweat it. I promise you, something else is coming in your future. Hit me up. Let me know what happens. Next up is Caden from North Carolina. Girl, me and my dudes met at a club two years ago. Now all three of us live together. I've never been with two guys at the same time before. It seems as if we're all in tune with each other. I really fell for them. It was mysterious, naughty, exciting, exhilarating. Now, not so much. I've grown bored with one of them and would like to replace him with someone else. Problem is, I don't know how to make that happen. Any advice? Now, guys, I, <laughs> I just have to say something on this one. When I read this, I pulled it. I said, what the hell is this? Now, oh, what type foolishness? 
is this. Because first, you stated that you haven't been with two guys before. You claim that y'all feeling each other. Y'all in sync, in tune with one another. You fell for them. Now you're talking about replacing one of them. Boy, bye. This sounds like classic have your cake and eat it too, I'm telling you. You haven't really given me much to go on. Why do you want to replace him? Is this just about sex? Because you said that you were feeling the, the two that you're with. So now why do you want to replace one? Let me explain something to you. Relationships are more than sex. And sex is all I'm hearing here. I'm getting selfish, immature vibes. You stated you were in love with both of them. But you also stated that you have someone in mind to replace old boy with. Well, where did he come from? If you were really feeling the other two, where in the hell did this guy come from? I call bullshit. I call bullshit. Um, I, I'm going to give the cards they're saying this matter. My heart goes out to the two you're currently with. The first card says, Oh, it's giving me the evil eye. It's giving me the evil eye. And that's no good. So, I don't know. Um, there's something really wrong here. Okay? Because whenever you pull this evil eye, and it says wishing harm, wishing harm, that's not good at all. That's not good at all. I don't know if you've played around with different ones before. I don't know who this third person is, but somebody in this camp ain't legit. I'm going to tell you that much. And I'm kind of getting that it's coming off of this new guy. And I'm, I'm also getting that he's not new. So let, let me just put that out there. I'm getting that he's not new. And I'm getting that there's more going on with him than what's being exposed. You need, you need to leave that alone. I'm going to tell you that right now. Next it says emotional maturity. And did I not say that you're acting very immature? Because listen to yourself, you came across, you said that you were feeling uh, the two that you're with, y'all were in sync, y'all were, and then you threw in the mix that you want to replace him. You want to replace somebody. And you never said who, but why do you want to replace somebody? If you really said that you love each other, y'all all in love, y'all all in sync, it's so good. And it's working. You don't fix what ain't broken. So why would you want to cause strife or bring uh, malice into your relationship by now breaking up one and, and then in, inject a new fool in? And then how do you know the other guy, the remaining guy that you still want, that he's going to be with that? And I'm getting that. I'm picking up on that. That's where your strife is at because you're not sure that he is going to go down with that because he loves all of y'all. And that's what I'm feeling. And I'm feeling that other guy, the, whoever it is that you want to get rid of, I'm feeling a love ring with those two. They're, they're really into you. And they don't know. But this other guy that you're talking about interjecting, I'm really picking up on that. This is not nothing new. This, this, is, not, mm -mm. this is not nothing new right here. And um, I don't know what his game is, but I don't think it's all that 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 is uh, that is said to be. I'm picking up some some trickery on his end. The next card says to burst the new, devour the old, and see with that. This is what I'm saying. You you're you're playing a very dangerous game right here, okay? Because you you've got three people involved. You got the two you're with, you got this new guy. All of these hearts that you're playing around with, all of these emotions. And then, again, there's something going on with this other guy. And like I, I, keep, um, I keep saying it, this guy is not new, okay? And you know that. You know what I'm saying is true. So there is something really bad. And I think you need to leave that alone. And that's why that says that. To birth the new, devour the old. You need to leave that old shit alone. You need to put that aside. I'm telling you, you need to cut that off. Okay? Let me know what happens. Up next is Deanna from Washington. Ave, 
I'm a middle-aged woman. I've been married happily for 13 years. Now, I came into a ready-made family. There were no issues outside of normal teenage angst and family disagreements. Roll on now 13 years later, and all of the four kids except for one is grown and out of the house. Currently, he is in the basement suite. My husband and he don't get along because my husband feels he's lazy and wasting his life. I agree, but I try to stay out of such issues. The problem began when my husband went on a camping trip. During his four-day outing, his son said very inappropriate things to me. I told him he was out of line and he paid me no mind. Since then, there have been a few incidents like him brushing against me and decent suggestions. I try to stay out of the home whenever my husband isn't there. My fear of bringing this to my husband is that there'll be a major fight within the family. His kids didn't want him to remarry, and he's very close to them. If the other three takes his side, and then my husband sides with the kids, this will drive a wedge into our marriage. What should I do? Hun, the most I can say is that I've heard of stuff like this, and I do know that ready-made families are very, very hard to situate yourself into. Uh, what I would do, perhaps go to a store and purchase a spy cam kit. Get some of this stuff recorded. Have proof of. And then you need to sit down and talk to your husband. Sit down and talk to him. Better yet, why not at dinner one day when it's you, your husband, and the son and turn the tables? Like if you guys are eating one day, just bring it up. Unless he's a damn good actor, being caught off guard can play in your favor. I would still get that webcam, but I would just bring that shit up one night. Give your husband and your marriage a little more credit. Come at him truthfully and calm. Lies are strong, but truth can prevail. And in this, guilt needs no accusing. And when I say that because this, this boy... And I'm going to call him a boy because he's a, he's, he's a man child. He is a man child. He is a grown man. He's over 18. I'm picking that up. But he's a man child. And what he's doing, I don't know if he's really feeling you or he's just trying to cause problems with you and your husband. And I think that's really jacked up. I really, really do. And I think you need to put him on blast. I would get that spy cam and then one day I would just calmly bring it all out right at dinner and see exactly what he say then. Put his little behind on blast. Okay? Let's take it to the cards. The first card says problems. And see, this is this is what it's doing. This is causing problems. This is causing problems because you're so nervous that you and your husband are going to break up over this uh, if you come clean with it. And this joker's back here laughing because th this is what he wanted. No, you need to get that spy cam. You need to talk to your husband. Sit him down and really talk to him and say, look, babe, you know, I did, did we need to talk about some things. I'm just not, you know, there's things happening in the house that I'm not feeling and I want you to be aware that there's just a lot of things that's happening in the house that's not right. And I would say that just before dinner and then I wouldn't even elaborate anymore. I would say that and I wouldn't elaborate anymore. I would just bring the rest out right at the dinner table. Because once you put him on blast, he's going to be sitting there with his mouth open like, what? I, no. I, I don't, you see what I'm saying? And boom, there it is. Guilt needs no accusing. And then if you got the spy cam, so make sure you get that spy cam stuff first. Put it all right on blast. Up next, it says leadership. And that's what I'm saying. You've got to take... You have to take control of this situation because to you, that's a child. He's still younger than you, even though he's an adult, but he's, he's, he's a man child. And you have to take, you have to take control of this. And that's how you take that control. This boy is playing with you. And now it's, it's time to put the foot down. The next card says preservation. And see, that's what I'm saying. You've got to preserve your sanity, girl. You No, mm-mm. This little pip squeak, you can't let him get that off. No, mm-mm, mm-mm. you got to put your foot down, which honestly, you should have put it down when he first did that. 
I would have slapped his little ass, and I would have told my husband right then and there. But I understand your concerns. So now you got to put them big girl panties on, and let's do it. Let's get this done. Let's get this taken care of. Okay? Because it's gone too far. Do that and hit me back. Final thoughts. Loves, loves, loves. You do not have to put up with harassment at the job place or in your home. Always stand your ground. And yes, try to take the legal way out of a situation. When it comes to public wrongs and the public in general, know your rights and be prepared to face actions for your wrongs. Sometimes it's not those who are in a relationship with that is the problem. Sometimes it's us. You need to be real with yourself and handle that about yourself, excuse me, and handle that about yourself that sabotages relationships before you find yourself by yourself. And sometimes some people need to be by themselves. With that said, if you have a bizarre situation or simply some drama and need to give voice to it, I'll take that on too. No subject is too taboo to discuss. Whatever you're into, just be careful. And as always, play safe in your kink. Until next time, and as always, keep it kinky.